And now, your Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Oh, well, good morning, everybody. Here's a live look outside Midland right now. Looking pretty calm, but every now and then you'll see this camera bumping around just a little bit. That's because we do have some winds, strong winds and strong winds outside. In fact, right now, current winds outside our station here at 27 miles per hour. Definitely a bit windy and gusty out there. All thanks to our West Texas State Bank Sky Tracker for this live image. All right, so on the satellite and radar picture, it does show that it is looking pretty muggy out there because where you see these low level clouds, we're in this gray area. That's some moisture here at the surface, and that's why. It feels so humid and muggy as you step on outside the door this morning. Now, we are still in a stormy pattern, as you've noticed, with the severe weather the last few days, but now we're entering it back right back into it again where we could see some thunderstorms. That's due because we have this big, broad area of low pressure. In fact, it's closed off right now. That's why I circled it, and it continues moving ever so slowly off towards the east. And that's why we could see some thunderstorm chances here over the next few days ahead. That's going to help bring that lift that we need for those thunderstorms to occur. So that's why right Right now it's looking a little bit cloudy, but I do expect the clouds to clear out later throughout the day today. We're not going to have too much moisture for today, but that will change as we head into tonight. You can see some thunderstorms here really blossoming here across the uh, northern basin. That's around 1 o'clock here in the morning, around midnight or so afterwards. And then as we head into time here, you can see we do, we do have another batch of showers and thunderstorms that begin to form here around 9 p.m. Tomorrow, tomorrow night. But I do expect some more thunderstorms to occur by tomorrow afternoon before we get into these nighttime hours tomorrow and then some lingering clouds here as we head into the weekend. Now, we do have a severe thunderstorm risk here from the Storm Prediction Center outlined here in this yellow shade. This is a slight risk here of severe weather, meaning that we could see scattered severe thunderstorms possible with large hail damaging winds, the main threats here with these storms. So areas like La Mesa, Odessa, Midland, this also includes you as well under this, in hand, under this slight risk that we do have in place here for us for the thunderstorms here tonight. Now, also, we also have these southerly winds that are helping to Bring in all this moisture as well, and it's looking a little bit gusty as well as a result, 15 to 20 miles per hour throughout the day today. And then by tomorrow, I do expect more of the same here about these southerly winds, thanks to that low pressure system that really begins to uh, creep its way ever so slowly toward us. And by Saturday, I'm expecting a little bit more of a breezy wind profile out here as well. All right, so to break it all down for you, this is what I'm expecting a muggy and warm start to continue. Clouds will be clearing though throughout the day today for us, and thunderstorm chances return here mainly for tonight. Night. All right, so here's a look at your day planner. Do expect these clouds to clear out throughout the day today. You can see here mostly sunny, but then we're expecting southerly winds here around 18, around 18 miles per hour or so. It's really going to help feed all that warm air that in place to help keep those temperatures in check in the lower 90s. All right, here's how we shaped out yesterday as far as your temperatures go. 92 was the high, 89 for this time of the year, so definitely above normal still. 91 degrees, we're pretty much right where we should be for this time of year, about 89 degrees, just shy of the 90 degree mark. As far as the temperatures across the rest of the basin, here's how we are looking here for the northern basin. Anywhere into the upper 80s to lower 90s. 95 for you and Jow. That's a warm spot there. And the central basin even looking a little bit warmer than that in the mid to upper 90s. It is looking quite toasty out there today across the basin. We're getting to that time of year now where we start to approach these normal temperatures in the 90s to even the lower 100s in Presidio and Big Bend. All right, here's a look at your seven-day forecast. A 30% risk here for tonight. And then those chances continue into Friday and it looks like it will be lingering into this weekend. Sunday looks to be the uh, Sunday looks to be the less day of, of, of those thunderstorm chances rather than on Friday and Saturday. And then we start to dry out by the uh, by next week. Temperatures though in the in the 90s. So pretty much right where we should be. We had that cold front come through last week and it was really bringing down our temperatures. Mm -hmm. But now we're back to where those nice and toasty warm conditions out there across the basin as we approach the summertime. Quick question. Did I see 100 degrees in Pecos? Uh, you might have. I know. I know oh, the map did show 102 in like Presidio and 100 in Big Bend. Okay. It's 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 getting warm out there. It really is. We've kind of been consistently in the 90s range, but yeah. we are getting right into summer. Yeah. So we are. Uh, it's those temperatures there. are going to be rising. It's It'll be interesting to warm. see how hot it gets out here. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely going to be an interesting summer setup. I mean, if we're already getting into the those kind of temperatures now. Oh yeah. Well, thanks for those updates, Derek.